Hi, I'm Greg with Mammut, and this is the new Ride RAS airbag pack for Mammut. And we've got it all rigged up, crotch strap on, metal buckles, the trigger handle is ready to deploy. And if you get caught in an avalanche, you deploy the airbag. <laughs> Now what you've done is you have reduced your density, increased your volume, and you have more likely to float on top of the snow instead of getting buried in the avalanche. That is the whole safety device behind the Ride RAS avalanche pack. The trigger mechanism is hidden away in the shoulder strap. As you leave the out of bounds or get into avalanche danger area, pull the handle out, push the button, spin it, it is now ready to deploy the airbag. We've incorporated metal buckles on the shoulder straps, metal buckle on the waist belt, and a crotch strap to help ensure that the pack stays on your back after the airbag's deployed. So this is the Venturi valve. The volume of air inside this canister is not enough to fill this bag. The rushing air coming out of the canister works together with the Venturi valve to suck ambient air to fill the bag. Okay, so we've deployed the bag, we've been rescued from our avalanche, we need to repack our pack because we're going to do another run, get back in the helicopter. Depress this red button on the inside, and deflate the pack. Now we've cleaned all the air. There is folding specific folding instructions to maximize the deployment of the airbag. Fold in on the corners, over the top, and back over. And on the other side, and on the corner, over the top. Here and over. Now we've still got a little bit of air in here. Need to get out. And then to get it into the spot, we come over the venturi valve, back. This is strictly to help hold the airbag in place while we set the zipper. This is a breakaway zipper. You can see the yellow teeth up here that do not mate together. So this is a regular zipper. Up to this point. bit tricky, it's a tight fit. Packed ready to deploy the airbag again. We've repacked our airbag. We're going to remove the canister. There's a mechanical trigger that needs to be reset inside here. There's a trigger reset in the accessory pocket attached to the key fob. Thread this in here. By screwing this, we're going to reset the trigger and prepare the pack to install a new air cartridge on. Screw it all the way in, then unscrew it, 
and your trigger is reset. Ready to accept a fully charged new canister. We're going to remove the burst disc, replace the burst disc after we've deployed the airbag. We're going to loosen this nut on top and underneath here unscrew it is the burst disc and the washer. There is a small o-ring on the top of this that is the connection to the trigger in the airbag pack. You need to make sure the o-ring is in place shouldn't come off too easily. So there's the burst disc and the washer. Washer goes down first, burst disc on top of it. Okay. It is recommended to replace the washer every time as well as the burst disc. And the three packs come with washers and burst discs. I should have had this out and ready. So Washer down first, burst disc on top, okay, and now we screw it back together. This needs to be tight in order for it to be refilled by scuba shops, paintball shops, authorized refillers and they will check it when they go to refill it and crank this thing down tight. Okay. Now it is ready to be refilled.